macOS Ventura is now officially available to everyone and it brings a lot of the features from iOS 16 to the Mac. Features for mail like send later or undo send, iCloud shared photo library, stage manager, and more. But here are the top five things you should try as soon as you update to macOS Ventura. Number one is continuity camera. You can actually use your iPhone as a webcam with your Mac, no third party apps or wires required. Everything happens wirelessly. Anywhere where you would normally choose the FaceTime or built in web camera on your computer, you can now choose your iPhone as your webcam. It live streams directly from your iPhone, really low latency, and you get this screen on your iPhone telling you that it's currently being used as a webcam. Now, if you pair continuity camera with this accessory, this is from Belkin, it's actually a MagSafe connector. So it will just stick on the back of your iPhone and this little adapter will actually hold your iPhone right in that perfect webcam spot on your laptop lid. Here's the Belkin iPhone mount with MagSafe and this is from Mac Notebooks. Take it out and it's just a simple little puck will stick on the back of your iPhone and hold it to your laptop lid. You're gonna to wanna to use the back camera on your iPhone because that's the highest quality. Take this and it just sticks right on there, MagSafe. It also worked just fine. If you have a case on your iPhone, just stick it right back there. And then all you do is flip out this little lever and now it's ready to mount to your laptop lid. I'll set it right here on my laptop lid. And now in whatever application I would normally use a webcam or the built-in camera, I can get a high quality video feed right from my iPhone with continuity camera. Number two, Spotlight has been vastly improved in macOS Ventura. You can even run shortcuts directly from Spotlight, start timers, and more. You can access Spotlight by clicking the magnifying glass in the top menu bar, or just by doing command space on your Mac. I can search for something like timer, and I can click start timer, it'll ask how many seconds, or I can change it to minutes. You can also just access the clock app by searching for clock, and here you also have the timer, stopwatch, alarms, and a world clock right here on your Mac. I can also run shortcuts like my visit beard shortcut. If I click that, it'll actually run the shortcut, which just opens the website in Safari. Number three, you can now share tab groups and collaborate with others using an iCloud account. Here in Safari, if you already have some tab groups created, click the three dots and then share tab group. Now I can send this via messages to anyone and they can access the same tab group. Add new tabs, look at the tabs that I've already saved from Safari. If you haven't started using tab groups, I highly recommend. And with macOS Ventura, you can hand off FaceTime calls from your iPhone or iPad right back to your Mac. Here I have a live FaceTime call going and you'll see the FaceTime icon here in the menu bar. I can click that and then tap the switch button and now the FaceTime call will transition to my Mac. Click the join button here in the FaceTime window and now the call is transferred over to my Mac and off my iPhone. And number five is focus filters. Focus modes have been on the Mac before, but now focus filters originally came in iOS 16 and now you can add them right on your Mac. I actually have a whole video covering focus filters. You can click the link above or the link in the video description. On your Mac, click the Apple icon and go to System Settings. In System Settings, go to Focus in the left-hand column. And now any of your focus modes, when you click into it, you'll now have the option to add focus filters. Focus filters gives you the ability to hide certain email accounts, calendar accounts, and message conversations when you're in a focus mode. Now I can choose which email accounts I actually see in my inbox when this focus mode is active. This way when it's the weekend or you're on vacation, you can hide all of your work email accounts, but still be able to access your personal email accounts. You can also add focus filters for calendars, filter message conversations, and Safari tab groups. So those are my top five new features for macOS Ventura. If you have any questions about macOS Ventura or some of the other new features, leave a comment below this video. I'd love to answer you there. Subscribe to the Bearded Teacher YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. I have videos on managing your email. I got some really great tips there the best MagSafe batteries for iPhone, and more. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.